Welcome, everyone. Welcome, darling. Welcome, DMV, to a place where you can get your life. Or it <laughs> for dummies. I am Foul Pal the Real. I am so excited to be here in Virginia 2021. My first interview, my first guest, who is a friend to the show, Skinny Boy Randy. Hello, you guys. Boy Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you have a great one. And prosperous day. I am so honored to be here right now. I am just in shock, you guys. Hi! <laughs> okay. So he has agreed to let me yes. interview him and ask a couple of questions. So if this is your first time meeting him, please go over to his channel. I will leave the link. Skinny Boy Randy. Stay tuned. So welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Now Skinny Boy Brandy, how long have you been growing? I have been growing my entire life. I grew up in North Carolina, you guys, and my grandmother and grandfather, they raised over 30 children between my wow. mother and my father. My grandmother on my mom's side had 16, and my father's mother had nine. Wow. So I had a huge family, and they raised them all on a farm down in North Carolina. Yes, they bought the land that they used to work on, and I am so proud of them. Shout out to proud. And yes, and that's how I got gardening. My grandmother told me, hey, come on out here, help me shake, shuck these peas and pick this corn. And I went on out there and did it, okay? Cause we ain't had no money back then, we ain't had no money. We went out there and we picked our food, okay? Okay, that's what we did. Yes. And that's what I'm trying to do. Yes, thank you so much. So you are a gardener? What is a gardener versus, you know, someone that like me that grows orchids? What is, what do you grow? Gardening is trying to grow things that are sustainable to you and your family. Anything that you can eat. Wow. I know. Love anything it. that you can yo, eat yo. is gardening. Now, a lot of people are gardeners, but they grow flowers, which is a gardener as well. But my gardening is grow things that you eat, you guys. Grow things that you love. Grow yeah. things that's going to benefit you and your family. Yeah. Something that you can put into your body that you know that didn't come from anywhere else but your own hand. That's amazing. That is amazing. Enjoying the fruit of your labor. Yes, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. Amazing. And if you don't work, you don't eat. That's what grandma used to say. If you don't work, you don't eat. Well, there you go, 2021. Now behind us, you see his trademark, Skinny Boy Brandy. I see that it says that we are zone 10, or it says zone seven, yes. zone 10. Could you tell people like me that grows orchids and you know dabble into house plants? But I've never heard of a zone. What's a zone? Okay, pretty much a zone is the area that the weather does every year. It's a, it's a formulation of what happens based off of historic science. Oh. So pretty much we know winter is December, January, February for us. Zone 7, which is Virginia, North Carolina. We're right in the middle. If you're up north, you have a lower number, like a 2, a 3, a 4, or a 5. If you're in the southern states, like Alabama, what? Alabama, South Carolina, Florida, they are in the 910s. They can grow bananas. I can't grow bananas because my weather does not permit that because they're in a warmer climate. And yes. it's just that the way the earth rotates. Okay. And it's, it's just it's the United States way of showing you when your winter is coming. Oh my God. And when to put your plants out, which is right now you guys start to see. It. But okay. that's what a zone is. It's it's your area of growing. California has zone two. Okay. I mean, uh, zone three and four. And okay. they also have zone 10 because they're such a long state. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I thank you for teaching me. Oh, that. you're very welcome. In the orchid community, we start our videos off saying, 
will according to my environment. So it will be good to be able to classify viewers into zones so they could have a better understanding of according to my living conditions, what that actually Absolutely. means for them Absolutely. in their weather pattern. Absolutely. Whether you're growing orchids or you're growing food, you guys, do a little research. Take a little time to figure out what you're growing and why you're growing it because everything doesn't grow in every environment. Wow. So I'm just so happy to be here and I can't wait to talk about these orchids. I'm sorry, you guys. Wait on the orchids. So Randy is actually a huge YouTube star. YouTube selected him with their promo hashtag with me. Everyone is at home in a pandemic feeling alone. Yes. Yes. And thankfully, through the platform of social media, other viewers like me felt connected to you, felt connected to the state of Virginia, which this is my first time being here. And the state of Virginia should actually be paying you because you are now a tourist attraction. I Thank came you. here just Thank to see Skinny Boy Brandy and what was the hype about? What was so amazing? What was this big persona? And spending a couple of days with him, I can truly say he has the biggest heart I have ever seen. He has shown myself and my husband such generosity. I mean, such hospitality. I mean, we wake up and he's like, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? So he has this spirit of servitude which is just so awesome to be around because it humbles me and it teaches me how to carry myself and just having that positive attitude Absolutely. of, you know, growing Absolutely. and growing, eating, eating the fruits of your labor is what I take from you. But, Thank you. So with YouTube, what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? I actually started just planning uh, a tulip. I just planted a bulb of tulip, and I'm quite sure you're used to people saying, hey, plant another one, plant another one. Yeah. So I planted another, and people started asking, how did you do that? What? And I said, I just put it in the ground, and I actually put the camera on what I was doing, and they said, thank you, because I did not know exactly yes. what to do. Yes, I don't know either. You know, I'm not a professional. I ain't never been professional school. I ain't never been yeah. professional school. <laughs> but... I showed her what I knew, Yay. and she in turn shared it with someone else who shared it with someone else. You guys, please share orchids for dummies, you guys. Leave a thumbs up on this oh, video, leave a comment, you. leave a bell, you guys. Leave a bell, you'll get a notification every time we make the video, okay? Please but yes, and I just started giving the people what they asked for. Yes, oh they wanted to see more, and I started doing more, and then one day, I just made a video telling people how to grow your garden on your patio, your porch, or a deck. Mm -hmm. And I got a producer phone call from California asking, can we use two seconds of that video? Take me back to that day. Like, when you were, what were you when you found out YouTube was trying to contact you? I had been getting an email from strange people. Okay. A strange person, I'm sorry, not strange people. A strange person, and they kept saying, please call us, please call us. Oh we love like this God. video. But it was the secretary of the company. It was not the actual president of the company. And then one day I got an email in bold and it says, hi, I am the president of this production company in Hollywood, California, and YouTube has hired us to make a home, stay at home with me. This is when COVID first came out, you guys. And they wanted people to know that there are things that you can do at home. And they said, can we use two seconds of your video? And oh I said, God. sure. And they offered a very, very beautiful wow. financial compensation, wow. which I wasn't even looking for. Just making a video, you guys, so you can do it too. If you want to get started, just go ahead and get started. Absolutely. And the, that was a Saturday evening. Oh my God. And he said, uh, be expecting to get calls from your family tomorrow. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, uh, the video is being released at midnight. Just like that. So you guys, do what you love and and grow and, and live and yeah i didn't sign up for that it just god said it that way and i appreciate it and my channel oh is growing i'm not the biggest person on youtube oh but i love helping people 
Yo, yes. If you can help anybody, you guys, please that's help amazing. someone else. That's, that's amazing. All that's amazing. That's my message. I'm just this way up on each one. And he's trying to break me down. He's not trying, but it's just, he's breaking me down. I told you he has such a big heart. This is he is so loving. I mean, just to be around his I'm empathic. And so I can feel his energy and it's so loving. It's a, it's like mama. Mama in the kitchen on Sunday morning cooking breakfast before church, that type of feeling. And it's amazing to be around. So like I said, I'm just honored to be here with you and Thank to you. learn from you and Thank to you. grow from you. So I'm just so appreciative. I'm sorry, guys. If I keep looking this way, because I want him to talk about the organ. <laughs> So, Enough about me, but you go ahead and ask some more questions. Yes. Go ahead. So the state of Virginia actually saw the um, nation, I mean the worldwide commercial from YouTube, hashtag with me. Mm -hmm. And they contacted you yes. about a local garden here in your community. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Shout out to all of the community gardeners here in downtown in Richmond, Virginia. I am gonna be currently working on some community gardening projects. I just did a project where I gave out over 100 gardening kits to the community, Amazing. you guys. And um, I was approached by the community, by the, the government to help out. And that's such a blessing. That's such a blessing. You're working with kids. Just to help out. You kids. Guys. Just to help out. Well, yes, tell the people you have a foundation or you have a charity for the kids that's in the community. What is the link for people to be able to donate to your cause, helping these young kids in the community? Everything is send to Randy. You can do send to Randy on Cash App. You can do send to Randy with the number one. You can do uh, PayPal send to Randy. You can do uh, gardening with skinny for Randy go at Gmail. You guys just check out my Facebook, my YouTube channel. I'll put all the links on how to support the kids. You guys, if we can get them to plant one seed, you'll be surprised. It changed my life. My grandma changed my life just watching something grow. And before I get you crying, I want him to talk about these orchids. I'm sorry, y'all. I know uh, this was supposed to be an interview about me, but I just love this guy so much, you guys. Uh, if you want my followers, you guys go over to Gardening. Uh, uh, he's not Gardening with Skinny Boy Orchids. I didn't name your channel to Gardening with Skinny Boy Orchids. But go it. to Orchids for Dummies, you guys. Check out Foul Foul Around on Facebook. And I just took over this interview by accident, and I'm sorry. <laughs> My it is okay. It is okay. So I read an article about you from the newspaper, the local newspaper or news station mm -hmm. here. I will leave a link in the description the Richmond Free Press. Below. The Richmond Free Press. Richmond Free Shout Press. Shout out to Richard Free Press and Lazarus, the yeah. reporter who did Shout this. Shout out show. everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. Yes. Yes. The historical welcome. Richmond Free Press, you guys. Yes, God. So I've read that you help people, you inspire people, you motivate people that is dealing with depression and anxiety, which oh, a lot of you, us you, a lot you. of us go through bless that. You, I, I am going through bipolar depression and I can say watching your videos makes me feel happy and makes me feel calm. But what inspires you to, you know, after a long day's work, to, you know, reach out to people like me that might have had a bad day just like you? What motivates you to, you know, put yourself to the side and do what you do for all of your viewers? I have all to of that energy. Where is all of that energy coming from? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, because okay. 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 we ain't got no money to be going to the gym with all this energy. This coming straight from my God. Yeah. And I just have to give first shout out to my loving God and Hallelujah. And I just think it comes from a natural place mm. of love for people and. I thank God that he blessed me with that spirit of love mm -hmm. for any human being, mm -hmm. wrong or right, good or bad. Yeah. We all have our shortcomings. We all are sinners who Amen. are saved by grace. And I that's why I do what I do. I don't do it to be special or to be seen. I just love helping. Anywhere I can help you guys, I can help. If, if, you, if you need me to help you in the zone of Richmond, Virginia, call me. Yes. I'll come. I'll help. I'll dig up the yard and, and make the rice and 
ain't gonna say fry you no chicken, but we we'll all eat fried chicken. chicken. I'll fry you some chicken yeah, too. Okay. Right, yeah, okay. <laughs> So, you know, on a serious note, talking about depression and anxiety, yes. for a lot of us, 2020 was one of the worst years of our lives. So, for someone that is thinking suicidal thoughts, thinking, feeling hopeless, if you will, what would you say to them, Skinny Boy Randy? I would say, and you guys, we are social distance. I'm just taking my mask off and I'm facing this way. You guys practice your social distance. But what I would say to such a very serious question that he just asked me, if you take the time to find your inner peace, and someone told me that one day, find your inner peace, what makes you happy? What makes you feel happy inside? The world will not make you happy some days. Sometimes you can feel like you got knocked down, but ask yourself, what would make me feel better? And do that for yourself. Whether it's planting a seed, whether it's buying an orchid for a $1, a $2, a $10 seed. Take something and, and invest in yourself. Make yourself feel good. Amen. For anybody Amen. suffering with depression, anxiety, breathe. Yes. I want breathe. you to breathe. Good and find what makes you happy. And I'm not a professional. I ain't never went to professional school. <laughs> but yes, you guys, love on yourself. Love on yourself. Know that you're worth it. Okay. You're worth it. And you too can beautiful grow. Yes, a beautiful. You too can grow. Yes. That's yes. a beautiful sentiment. Welcome on back, everyone. So, on a positive note, I am just, this is one of the best experiences of my life. Thank my you. husband and myself are just so appreciative. And, you know, the same way that you would give a clipping of a pothos to someone out of the spirit of love and kindness, it, I feel the same thing with meeting with someone that is in the same community as you two, but doing something a lot different from me. I grow, but you grow as well, and even his food that he eats produces beautiful blooms, which is something I never knew. So I believe each one teach one. So with you collaborating with me, and I'm sure that you will have many more collaborations oh, thank you. in the future. Thank you so much. What would be your, you know, your absolute dream gardener that you would like to collab with? Okay. Here on YouTube. Drum roll, you guys. I would not be doing what I give you guys, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. If it was not for this young man right here, you guys, I would not be doing this. I would not. I give him props because props oh, are due you. to me. Okay? And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, you guys. I started watching him grow orchids, and I think orchids are such a beautiful plant. I've always thought that, but I never had one. I thought I couldn't afford one. I thought it was only for the upper elite. I didn't know that there were people in the world just like me, you know, and we can actually grow something so yes, beautiful sir. in your home. Yes, and that's sir. what got me to recording you guys. Oh, so if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be on YouTube. Oh, but you, yes, I you. also love Miss Cheryl Talley. Oh, I love Miss Cheryl. Hi, Miss Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. You love you, my mom. Yeah, yeah. people can some vegetables in a minute. If I had to give my number one shout out, it would be Rochelle. You're not gonna lie. I would leave my name too. We love Ned Barber, we love New Orleans Garden, we love him, my God, we love Cali, and we love everybody. And I'm not just a one nationality gardener, you guys. So some people are like, oh, Randy, you support other channels? Yes, I support all channels. I don't care. Creed, color, whatever. Yes. So yes, I love you guys. That farmer, New Orleans gardener, and my gardener, California gardening. I love you guys. Thank oh, you so much. Bless you. And I love orchids for them. Thank you so much. I so did, 2021 is 2021. January is a time we all get into oh. making some New Year's resolutions. Yes. Any boy, Randy, what are some of your New Year's resolutions? My New Year's resolutions are to be a better gardener. And when I say better, meaning maybe share more with others. Mm. And I always prided myself on just doing enough. Grow what you're gonna eat for you and your family, but sometimes if you have enough space, grow a little more. 
and share it with somebody else. So I want to do that. That's why I did my gardening kits. Um, I just want to share more. I want to give back more. It makes me feel so good. I didn't know I would feel so good doing this. For you to be here, you guys, this this interview is so beautiful to me. He's from Alabama. All the way over here. And it, it just humbles me. I want to do more of things like this. Me too. And you are such an inspiration. Oh, bless you. Bless and you. Bless to be able to share it with me and the world, I just wish you the best success. I and I just want to keep doing like you do. Well, sharing you love, baby. With you. In the South, we believe that you are to, you know, give the person that you love with their first beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid, which is also known as a moth orchid. This is um, a Phalaenopsis orchids from a public grocery store. So I heard you say that you felt if, if they were expensive, um, not to, you know, boast, but just to educate people that this beautiful multifloral Phalaenopsis orchid was only $17.98. And this is a regular size Phalaenopsis orchid. It's a Harlequin orchid. And this beautiful baby right here is only $10. So these are very affordable. You can find them. This was from Lowe's. This one was from Publix. You can find them in any big box store. You can order online from Hauserman. So please go get your Phalaenopsis orchid. And I'm gonna let you tell them a little bit about what it means to have one and you know what you found yourself doing with it since you've had it. Yeah. You guys, this is an amazing present for me. I've always wanted, like I said, I thought these were out of my reach. You know, I didn't think that I could have something so beautiful in my own home. Mm -hmm. And to be blessed, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. by someone, you guys, who would normally be a stranger. Mm -hmm. And to meet mm -hmm. and greet. Thank you. And you guys, we have people behind the scenes. We have people holding that camera right now. Yes, my Shout husband, out my to, husband. yes. Mr. Reggie, Reggie. Yes. shout out to Ronald. We have people supporting you, us, you guys, you. and we can't do this alone. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully you got some photos that you can share mm -hmm. with everybody about our background, people. I just want to get that I'll out there, there too, because, too. yeah. But this just, you guys, there are so many new blooms about to bloom. Mm -hmm. And that makes me excited. I feel like I'm gardening in a different level. And I'm gardening in a different way with a new love for something. And I just love these. And this means so much to me because I'm going to take care of it. I've named her Beauty. B U T Y. Come on, Beauty. Beauty. Come on. Not Beauty, but Beauty. Okay, this is Beauty, okay? But yes, we love Beauty. I thank you so much. Thank you. I just gave you Beauty. Thank you all for watching. Yes. Until next time. Oh!